We love the fact that we can get fresh farm eggs year round right here in Manchester at Acorn. Sure do! And there are quite a few farms that sell there. We have Taylor Farms, we have Mark's Farms that sells actually a variety of different sizes. And, and we have Dward Family Farm Eggs. That's right, Dward Family Farm Eggs as well. Well, Easter would come along and I would go to the traditional grocery store and buy the white eggs because we wanted to dye them, right? And then I thought of an idea. What if we just use our farm eggs, eggs dun, 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 and painted them so that we could keep them from year to year? And you can do that by blowing out the eggs, letting them dry out, and decorate them. So today we're gonna show you how to blow out these eggs so you can use fresh farm eggs for your Easter decorating eggs too. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. So why don't you share what supplies we'll need today? We'll need an empty bowl. Mm -hmm. We'll need straws. We'll need needles or pins, and we'll need toothpicks, and tape, mm -hmm. and of course, we need eggs. Brown eggs! Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. So let's go ahead and pick out an egg and show everybody how to blow out their eggs. I'm going to pick this little sweet one here. This one's kind of a little tiny one. I kind of like this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tape the very top of it. I'll give you a piece of tape first, Alexis, you can put it on yours. So here's some tape. And you just want to tape right at the tip of your egg here. And that kind of helps just keep it together and it really actually helps you put, um, get the hole through there too. It's, it's really neat how it works. So then once you have that piece of tape on there, you're going to tape your pin or your needle and carefully, carefully poke through the top. You can see, look, it's even bending my pin. It's so hard. So it takes a lot of precision and talent to get that pin in there, but you can do it. There we go. So now I've got the pin through. Now I take the toothpick and I'm actually gonna put the toothpick through that hole to make it just a little bit bigger. Oh, look at that, right all the way through. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Now when I flip it over, I have to hold on to the hole there, because otherwise the egg will come through. So I hold on to the egg and I put some tape on the back on the other side. And you're gonna do the same process again, where you're gonna poke through the shell of the egg, which again, like I said, is very tricky. And it's even harder when, <laughs> when your pin gets bent. Oops, now this one's getting so bent, it's actually really hard to get through. Whoa, my I know, yours is getting bent too, isn't it? So you can see this is not an easy project. I'll warn you that right now. It can, it can get a little frustrating, there we go. It's much easier actually when you have a, a straight one. <laughs> the curved one was a little tricky. Mm -hmm. And then once you have that, the pin through, you're just going to, again, wiggle with the toothpick again. And another trick you can do is take that toothpick and kind of poke at the yolk to kind of scramble it up inside. And then the yolk will come out um, a little bit easier. I think it might be better to take the tape off. You pick whichever is your larger hole. You're gonna have that facing down. Tape is stuck to my fingers. <laughs> okay, there we go. So you want the bigger hole at the bottom, um, but it doesn't really matter. Like mine are both pretty good size. Who gets it out first? You want to see? Okay, so hold on, we gotta let them know how to do it. So you take your straw, you put it on top where the smaller hole is. The bigger hole is going to where all the egg is going to come out. So yeah, we'll see who can get it out fastest. Starting right? at one, two. Three, go. <gasps> oh, wow. I'm good. Oh, I know. Yeah, she's, I'm already feeling like <laughs> Woo! That is a doozy. Oh, definitely. Woo. It is not good for people who don't have good breath. She's really and good done. at this. Oh my goodness, are you done already? Yeah, I am. Oh man. All right. Well, I'm going to keep trying mine. Still a little coming out, but as you can see, it comes out all scrambled. And the cool thing is, this is still edible. 
So you can actually still cook this as scrambled eggs. Good. Now to wash it out, this is where we have a big bowl of like soapy water. And you just kind of take your egg in there and just kind of shake it a little bit. Try to get the kind of the water inside a little bit. Cause you can see, I don't know if you can see it from there, but you can see it actually um, rinsing out on the inside even of the egg. And then you can use your straw again and blow. Oh, you can see I had quite a bit of left in mine still, didn't I? Look at that. So I'm gonna just take it through again, get some water in there. And you wanna keep doing that until all the water kind of comes out clean. That actually was pretty clean that way. Now it's gonna take a couple days for your egg to dry out. You don't wanna paint it too soon before it's dried out because otherwise you're in the middle of painting your beautiful egg and then the water comes out of the hole and it messes up your beautiful artwork. It's kind of tipping it around, then it'll be ready to paint. So we'll like, we'd love to have you join us to also paint with us, right? Once they dry after a couple days, we're gonna show you a couple different ways on how you can decorate these beautiful farm eggs to be Easter eggs that you can have and keep for a long time. Well, thanks for joining us. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Mine's dry already. <laughs> I wonder if they're dry yet. It's been two days. Now, how to check them, you just look inside and you rattle it around and see if any water comes out. <gasps> now that we know they're dry, let's get to decorating. First way to do it is washi tape stickers. If you don't want your hole to show on the egg, you can cover it up with the washi tape stickers. Let's put a few more on. You can also use a permanent marker to put polka dots on it. Here's a trick! You can put your egg on a toilet paper roll so it won't roll around while you're painting it. Here's another way you can decorate your eggs with bingo markers! The first couple were easy peasy lemon squeezy. Lemons are also available at Acorn for purchase. Now we'll show you how we made these. Now just like Alexis showed you, you can actually use an old toilet paper tube to rest your egg on and this makes it a lot easier to go ahead and decorate it. And because actually our pattern we're doing today is going to be half sky, half grass, this is like a perfect stopping point. So we're just using um, a little bit of a wider paintbrush to, so we can cover a little more surface area. And we're going to be using the light blue acrylic paint and we're just painting the top half blue. Okay, now that you have the whole top part painted blue, we're gonna let it just sit here and dry, and then we'll flip it over to paint the bottom green. Now that our blue is dry, we're ready for our next step. And it didn't take it all long, about 15 or so minutes for this to dry, and we did have a, a fan on overhead. So then you're gonna take your egg, and you're gonna flip it around, and now we're going to do the grassy bottom. So there's a couple ways you can do this. You wanna use two different greens, one for the base and then one for the thinner stripes. So you can do like a lighter green all around and then we'll do dark green on top or you can do dark green with the lighter green. I'm actually going to go for the lighter green all around the bottom and then I'm gonna do the grass and the flower stems in the darker green. So now we're ready to do the grass and the flower stems. You want to actually use a thinner paintbrush this time and a contrasting green. So because this was a nice light bright green, now we're going to use our darker green to 
to make our grass. And as you can see, we're using the egg carton here for our paint. So because the blue part is dry, I would recommend just kind of holding on to the blue a little bit. You're gonna start at the base where the hole is and carefully As you can see, I made sure that some of my green lines were a little shorter than others because these are going to be your flower stems. And so you want to make sure they're different sizes. And you want them all around your egg. And then on the tip of mine, I just kind of really colored it with the green and you covered up that hole. So there's a lot of neat ways to cover up the holes. Or you could also put a, a ribbon at the top too, but this, since this is the bottom hole, I wanted to be sure that I um, covered it up. So we're going to let this sit and dry. And then we're going to come back and flip it over again and paint the flowers. So now our grass blades are finally dry. So we're going to go ahead and flip over our eggs back to the blue side. Now you can see all of these little tip tops right here. That's where we're going to actually paint our flowers. So flowers are a fun um, thing to paint and actually just need little dots. So. Again, we're using a small tip again. And go ahead and pick a color. You like the pink? I think I'll go for the pink, light pink too. So you don't want the whole paintbrush because you just want just a little bit on the tip there. Then what you're gonna do is you're going to put five little dots around with leaving a little space in the center. So we're gonna put one, two, let that dry. Actually, I'm going to make mine just a little bigger because this stem is kind of a bigger stem. I'm actually going to make all of these just a little bit bigger around this flower. Now this will take a little bit longer to dry because we're putting the, putting the paint on a little thicker. Oh, nice flowers, Alexis. Okay, now we've got a dark purple color here. I'm gonna show you how to make a tulip. So what we're going to do is you're just gonna kind of come up and come at a curve here. Draw another line for a curve. Or I should say paint another line for a curve. And then one little strip down the bottom. It's a really pretty tulip. So we'll try another tulip over here. That one's so gonna do. So, those I'd say look pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let these flowers dry and we'll come back and we'll do the centers. Now the flowers will take a little longer to dry just because they're so thick. All right, now for the last step to finish up our flowers, we're going to do the centers and we're going to do just a couple cute little dots above the tulips. I'm actually going to use a yellow for the centers and the little dots. So for above the tulips, I like to just do one, two, and then three little dots, kind of like a little triangle to kind of represent the pollen. So I'm going to do those first because I need a much steadier hand for those. One, two, and three. And now we're going to go ahead and put the centers in our flowers. So basically the center is just, just filling it in with a different color dot. all of our beautiful little flowers with their little dots. Will it dry just a little bit more? Well, we're so glad you're able to join us in decorating these beautiful farm eggs. They're keepsakes that you'll be able to treasure year after year and remember the fun memories you had making them, right? Mm, it was a lot of fun. So we just wanted to share with you our flower eggs 
Um, one thing you could do is you could take a permanent marker and you could actually outline all the flowers. What we did is we just took one of these, the Sharpie permanent marker pens and we wrote our name on there and we wrote the year 2021 and I put just a little bumblebee with the 2021 behind him. And Alexis has her name on there too so that way we'll remember what year we made these. Another fun one was an avocado egg <laughs> for all of you avocado lovers. It was pretty easy. Half of it was like a bright green, then a half I took a dark green and just mixed a little bit of brown with it. And of course you've got your brown avocado pit. And there you have it, avocado egg. And this egg, I tried doing scales, but it more looked like a disco egg. I know it turned out really cool. And that's actually a perfect example of how maybe what you had in your mind didn't work out, but just keep going and have fun and make something cool. Yeah, she wanted it to be mermaid scales, but it turned out really cool, like a mosaic color. This was another fun one. I just did half and half and then polka dots and glitter. And then, yep, after I did it, I thought, oh, wouldn't that be fun to make a strawberry? You could paint it all red, put little black polka dots all over, put some green on top. You could even use like a little fake green leaf for the top as well. And this one, I did some pink stripes on it. Isn't that cool? And that's another great way to use that toilet paper tube where you can flip it around and it'll give you those nice stripes too. This one I also did with butterflies and polka dots. Mm -hmm. Those are washi tape stickers that are that you can buy on Amazon or craft stores. And she just used permanent marker on that one too. You could actually just use a permanent marker to decorate them, couldn't you? Mm -hmm. Or the chalk markers. So there's so many fun ways. And we hope that you have a lot of fun creating beautiful memories out of the farm fresh eggs available at Acorn. <laughs> well, thanks again for joining us, everyone. And we'd love to see your pictures of your eggs that you've decorated. If you'd like to put those in the comments, we'd love to see them, wouldn't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Bye. Here we have our farm fresh eggs that we'll be using to crack eggs. And once you crack them, you can still use them to bake or eat or make some food out of them. <laughs> and then blow with all our might. So let's see who can get their egg blown out. Oh, that's, oh sorry, I took her straw. Okay, now I got my straw. <laughs> straw do. <laughs>